Now, I have these papers in large form. Yours look like half sheets each. So, this is actually page 111, 111, chapter 3, lesson 2. So, if you find that on your paper, that's the one we'll be going over. We are going to do the Sharon show. Number one, we're going to complete the place value chart to find the value of each digit. So they have a decimal point here. So I know everything to the left is a whole number. Everything to the right is a decimal. So they have my ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So my number is three and 524 thousandths. So they wrote it in expanded form, giving the value of each. So we knew this would be three times one. This would be five times one tenth. This is the digit two times one one hundredth. And then this is the digit four times one one thousandth. Now we'll do the value of each. So three times one is three. Five times one tenth is five tenths. Two times one hundredth is two hundredths. Four times one one thousandth is four thousandths. So write the value of the underlined digit. So this four is in the hundredths place, so I know it is four hundredths. This two is in the tenths, so it would be two tenths. This four, that's ten hundredths thousand, so it would be four thousandths. Write the number in two other forms. So they give it to you in standard, so we can do it in expanded and written. So if we scoot this up, here is 253, that three is in the thousandths, so we would say 253 thousandths. So we can actually do it in 253 thousandths. Or you can write it in words, 253 thousandths. Next, here's my decimal point, so there is a seven as my whole number, then 632 thousandths. So I can say, I can expand each of these. So I can do seven times one plus six times one tenth plus three times one hundredth. And then I can do the two times one Thousand. So I expanded each of those. So then I can do seven. Here's that decimal point. So and six hundred thirty-two thousandths. I'm going to underline that th to make sure I didn't forget. All right, let's scoot on down. So write the value of the underlined digit. So just the value. So that nine is in the hundredths, so it would be nine hundredths. My seven is in the tenths, so it would be seven tenths. Six is in the thousandths, so six thousandths. Three is in the tenths, so three tenths. Two is in the thousandths, so two thousandths. One is also in the thousandths, so one thousandth. Write the number in two other forms. So we have 489,000. So we can do expanded. So we can do 4 times 1 tenth plus 8 times 1 hundredth plus that 9 times 1 thousandth. Or we could just give, um, say it in written form. So we could do 489. Thousands. I'm going to underline that TH to make sure I didn't forget. All right, so let's expand this one. There's my decimal point. So that five is actually five times one whole plus nine times one tenth plus one times one hundredth plus that six times one thousandth. And then we can do it in written form, which would be five decimal point and. 916 thousandths. I'm going to underline that TH. All right, good job, guys.